Good morning everyone. Here you will watch a video to learn about the FDIR solid sample preparation. You will need the following equipment. The solid sample, a mortar and pestle set, a metal spatula, and a piece of weighing paper. Here we have a closer view of the mortar and pestle set. You will also need the tools shown in this picture. The bench mounted wrench, a set of two open ended wrenches, or the spanner, that's how they call it in the US, two bolts of different sizes, the sample assembly, and the sample assembly holder. Let us begin. When cleaning the bolts' polished faces, do not use a glove that has a hard abrasive texture. Always use a soft glove or a tissue. Rotate both bolts out of the sample assembly. Use a cotton bud to clean the interior of the sample assembly. There should not be any trace remnants remaining. See the clear aperture? Place the wing paper on the wing balance. And measure out about 0 0.200 grams of potassium bromide. Scoop up a speck of your solid sample. It should be about 1% of the amount of KBR you have added in. Don't add too much sample because it will cause oversaturation. Scoop out some dry KBR into the mortar. You get the KBR from the oven. Grind it well using the pesto. You may have to do it for a minute or two. Now you see that you have a homogeneous mix. Once ready, rotate the shorter bolt into the sample assembly. Make sure that it is all the way in. And let it sit nicely onto the bench mounted spanner. Transfer the ground KBR into the cavity using a metal spatula. Make sure that it's evenly spread. Tap the sides of the sample assembly to get an even distribution of the solids in the aperture. Now, rotate the long bolt all the way into the assembly. Use the spanner to secure it tightly by rotating it clockwise. And let it rest there for about a minute. Now when you think it's ready, you can use the same spanner and rotate the longer bolt anti-clockwise to loosen it. You may find that one of the bolts comes up first. It is okay. Well done! You see that now you have a very nice KBR disc. Open the cover of the FTIR machine. Check that there's no sample inside. Close the cover. Now click the background scan. Once the background scan has been done, open the cover again. 
place the sample assembly onto the holder and put the whole entity into the FDR machine. Close the cover and click Sample Scan. After the scan, you have to do some housekeeping. You have to do the next step inside the film hood. Use a clean cotton bud and poke through the aperture of the sample assembly. Scratch off any remnants on the inner walls. This is how you evacuate your sample disk into the trash bin. It is all good now and you can leave everything to the next person who is going to use this. Do practice the right way more often to become better. I'm Funman and it has been a great pleasure guiding you throughout this video. See ya!